guys. I'd love to say good morning, but it is two o'clock. We're at Cullen's school picking him up because Merrick's having a lollipop. Coda, well, we'll start with every time I got up to feed the baby last night, I heard someone gagging. And I kept trying to figure out what it was. Couldn't find any children gagging. Go back to sleep. Hear it again. Turns out it was Coda. At 3.45, I found him throwing up all over the living room. Oh, there he is. Um, and he has been throwing up ever since. I even gave him a Zofran. I was Googling it at 3.30 in the morning. Yeah, he threw up outside, too. Googling if dogs can have Zofran, he can, but that didn't even stop it. He still threw up, and the vet couldn't get him in until now at 2.30. And me, too. And me, too. And, and, and me, too. Colin Red and Black and Coda throw up on me. Apparently, Merrick and Go Cullen watched Coda throw up. So, we're going to take Coda to the vet and hope it's nothing too serious. He hasn't thrown up in a few hours. And the fact that he got excited when he saw his leash and jumped in the car was good. He'll drink water, but poor guy will not eat and just keeps throwing up. He did this when he was a puppy and he ate a McDonald's breakfast sandwich and th ended up in the animal hospital sicker than a dog. Apparently, it's their sauce. What? Am I a doggy? Uh, I a puppy. Sure. Apparently Merrick's a puppy now. So now we're just waiting for Cullen so that we can go to the vet. So that was a long way. What? I was screaming, Mommy. Yeah, you were screaming. Yeah, you had to go to your room and go to bed. No, no. You're awake now. You're fine. Also, Mops was this morning, and we had Spa Day, which would have been amazing, except the director somehow lost our entire table's, like, sign-up. So I only got to do nails, but look how pretty they are. So, Does so. the bag bite me, Mommy? The what bit you? The bad guys go bite me. Oh, bad guys might bite Thor or Merrick. So, we'll take you along to the vet. Hope it's nothing serious. Mommy. Sit on your bottom, please. <laughs> this is how you know Coda doesn't feel good. I've never seen him lay so still at the vet. <sighs> Normally when he's here, he acts like it's his uh, place to greet and meet everyone. All right, we're at the vet. This is a small room. It is a small room. Double stroller, Cullen, dog, and me, and we barely fit. Hi, Coda. Yeah. You okay? Let's not find out. Um, the tech took pity on us though, since we could barely get in the door. Please don't. And put us in a room right away. Do they have, why, why do they have doggy treats here? And I, I know, I know. Is it because I know, they be, after they be good, they get them? Yep. I know, I know. So Cullen was asking if they have treats for doggies after their checkup, if they're good, like they do at the doctor's. So he realized that it's just like the human doctors, but for doggies. Okay, so they examined Coda. His belly was very tender, but his temperature is fine. Nothing looks abnormal other than the tender belly, so they're doing x rays and they're going to put a shot of fluid under his skin because he has, he's dehydrated. So they're taking the x rays. If the x rays come back clear and they're still concerned, they're going to do blood work. A lot of money I did not want to spend today. So we realized he had a full diaper on. So we reweighed him. It was 5.18, which is 11.4 pounds. So that's pretty good for weighing 5.7 at birth. 
He's watching brother be naughty. I'm pushing. Still waiting. We've been waiting about 20 minutes for all of Coda's tests. All right. Tail's wagging. Good sign. Feeling a little better. Can you guys, I don't know if the camera can capture. Oh, maybe, yeah. That whole thing right there is a packet of, a pocket of fluid. They gave him some fluids. They think he just ate something naughty, but nothing is obstructed or stuck in his belly. So hopefully it'll just work its way out. Unfortunately, this is not the first time we've gotten this diagnosis for this boy. He likes to eat naughty things. But you're going to survive. Whew. Thrift store night. Shopping, shopping. Gotta get Soren the next size up. That's basically what I'm looking for tonight. So it is 9.30 at night, and I have no cleaner, so me and the baby came to Target. I've actually been avoiding Target because we're trying to save money, and Target is where I spend most of our money. So this could be bad. Um, but we finished up our thrift store shopping night. I'll show you on the vlog tomorrow our goodies. We actually did really good. We spent $22 and got like 15 things of clothes. Oh, look at the new sandals. Oh, shoot. See, this is my problem. Like, I need these now. I might have to buy them. I need sandals. Where are the rest of them? <sighs> so, we did that, and then I spoke at a foster care training like I do every, I do that about twice a month. It did, got, I don't know what I'm saying. Did the foster care training. So Soren hasn't been letting us stay at home with, hasn't been letting me leave him at home with Brandon. So I, I took him and Brandon with me. Well, every time I talk, Soren would cry. So I don't know what to do. So if you have ideas on how to leave your breastfeeding baby, at home and take a bottle. Please leave it in the comments below. Pretty sure Joanna Gaines wants me to buy this whole aisle. Can someone tell my husband that she said it's okay? Oh my gosh, breakfast and bed set? It's ridiculous. Oh, I do want this though. Her new cookbook. I need it. What do you think, Soren? Will Daddy be annoyed if we buy it all? Clearance. Look at these letter boards. Oh, they're not that cheap. 